Hey, how are ya? Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. All right, today we're gonna do the ultimate chocolate chip cookie. That's right, I've never made the perfect cookie yet. I'm gonna try, I've taken some tips on the internet, and I'm gonna share those tips with you, and I'm gonna try them for the first time. And I'm gonna try and make the ultimate chocolate chip cookie. Before we get started though, I wanna tell some of you, uh, some of the viewers out there, if you're gonna leave comments on the video, please make sure they're in English, okay? I don't wanna to have to translate, I don't, I don't have time to translate, I'm too busy doing shows. So type in English, because if you don't, it's gonna be removed, and I don't wanna remove your comments. Your comments are important to me. So try to keep it in English so that everybody can share on your input, okay? Now, it's cookie time. Okay, before we get started, let's show you the recipe on the screen. There you go. Feel free to pause the video and write this all down. It's your basic ingredients for chocolate chip cookies. Now, let me show you how we did this. In this bowl, I've already mixed the flour, the baking soda and the salt, okay? I like to mix all my dry ingredients together. You got the brown sugar, and you got your white sugar, your two eggs, your two sticks of butter, your vanilla, and your chocolate chips. Before you go to make your chocolate chip cookie, remember one thing, all your ingredients must be room temperature. That's right. See the butter? We're gonna be putting that in first. Must be room temperature. I, did never, I never remember this tip, or I was never told this tip but your butter must be uh, room temperature, okay? So once you get the butter off, get in the bowl there. It's gonna be all kind of gooey, because you're gonna whip this. If it's cold, it's going to ruin the cookies. Now I've got the two sticks of butter in here. I'm going to throw in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. There we go. We're also gonna throw in the brown sugar. And we're also gonna throw in the white sugar. We're gonna beat these till creamy. And I don't mean just creamy, I mean fluffy. I mean more than creamy. Uh, it's gonna, it could take, it could take up to like five minutes to do this. I'll show you what I mean once it's done. All right, it's almost getting that ripply effect. See, that's getting ripply. That's about where you want the creaminess, okay? That's beautiful. Make sure to every so often stop the blender and Use a spatula and kind of scrape the sides down, then put the blender back on and finish blending. So that's looking pretty fluffy. Now here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna stop this right here for a second. What we're gonna do is you're gonna incorporate each one of the eggs. You're gonna put in one at a time. I never did this right either. I just dropped an egg in there, okay? You're gonna blend that in and then you're gonna blend the second egg in in a minute, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is incorporate each egg one at a time. There you go. All right, now here comes an important part. You're going to want to mix the flour and the mixture with the flour, baking soda, and salt. Mix it in a little at a time. And you're not gonna wanna, wanna mix it in hard either. So I think I'm going to uh, they said to pulse it, but I don't have a pulse on this. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can I incorporate it. You wanna incorporate it easy. Let's see if I can get this, get it in nice and slow. So put a little bit in. Let's try this. You don't wanna, you don't wanna beat it too hard. You kinda wanna just incorporate it into the mixture. This is a key thing here. So this is probably the hardest part of the whole cookie dough. And put a little bit more in. And then do it again. Now just to finalize it, just take a spatula. There's some of the flour still on the side. Just kind of incorporate it slowly, almost like folding it in. Okay, here's the ooey gooey part. Now we're gonna work the morsels in. Ta-da! Yeah. This is where you need to make sure your hands are washed. And mine are. And you're gonna mix it in just slowly. Here we go. Ew. Ew. Okay, you may want the kids to do this. So now it's time to scoop out our cookies. Yes, that's right, I mean scoop. Everybody's using this ice cream scooper with the little handle thing, so I went out and bought it. And they said it's absolutely perfect, so I'm gonna try it right now. I'm gonna take that, and I'm just gonna stick it right there. And they say that's perfect scoop. Just scrape it, and we'll put one there. Okay, now let me, before I put these in the oven, you're gonna put these in at 375 
between nine and 11 minutes. These are kind of big, but before I put these in the oven, there's a few things I gotta tell you. All right, first of all, take a piece of wax paper and just gently press down your cookies, okay? It may stick to the paper, don't worry about it. Just gently press them down. Remember, all ingredients were done at room temperature. The eggs were applied one at a time. We incorporated the eggs. The flour was gently brought in, not heavily stirred in. And this is it. So I will bring them back and we'll take a look and we'll try these out. You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee, we do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com, I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. <laughs> okay, cookies are in the oven, 9 to 11 minutes, just waiting. What can we do for 9 to 11 minutes? Yeah, I know. I keep a towel on my shoulder all the time. My wife drives her nuts. I know what we can do. You know what we can do? It's time for viewer mail. It's a great idea. All right, let's do it. All right, so here we go. Um, Yamaman246810. Yamaman, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, posted a comment, says, uh, I guess I had written on uh, on the internet that I love playing video games. I'm a big gamer. Uh, I have all the systems. PS3, Xbox, the Wii. Anyway, uh, Yamaman246810 says that uh, that person loves video games too. And they bowl like I do. Um, but in Canada, it's only five pins, not ten. They bowl with five pins. Oh, well, and he's got an average of 149. Well, if I only had half the pins I had to hit, I'd do a lot better too. I don't get that, five pins. I wonder how they set that up. But anyway, I'll have to uh, take a look on the internet what that looks like. And Just Ness 78 where do you guys come up with these names? Crack me up. Uh, it says, next time you come, uh, they were talking about pizza. Just Ness is talking about all my pizza videos. For some reason, I'm doing pizza all the time. I'm, I'm almost sick of pizza. But, uh, but he's kind enough to invite me down to Me and Ed's Pizza in Lakewood, California. And supposedly it's it's the best, and it's a lot closer than Burbank. So he's inviting me to come review it, check it out. Uh, we'll have to check it out. More pizza. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, um, he says uh, the pizza's the best there. So we will take the camera down there on Jack on the Go channel. If you haven't checked out Jack on the Go channel, go check that out after we pull the cookies out and see how they came out. Jack on the Go channel is uh, my new channel. So yeah, I got a little iPod Nano and I run around like a maniac filming myself. It's so stupid, but it works. All right, let's take a look at the cookies and see how they turned out. So what I've done is I've taken them off the cookie sheet and I'm put them on this pizza thing because I don't have a cooling rack, okay? But these have got to be the best I've ever seen cookies. They are so soft and gooey right now. Uh, I'm supposed to let them cool, but I'm going to show you. They're just beautiful. All right, which one? You know what? I'll pull one from over here. Now, I'm just going to give you an idea. Let's move this out of the way. I'm going to take this cookie. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna lay it on my viewer mail. <laughs> look at this, so beautiful. Now I wanna show you how good these cookies are. Just look, ready? Look at it just fall apart. Look at that. Mmm. Chocolate's all gooey. Absolutely gooey. Totally warm. All right, ooh. I'll give that one to my son, he'll never know. Okay, now. This is the ultimate chocolate chip cookie. Look at, I'm even gonna show you the backside. Look at that, so good. It's delicious. And yes, I'm rubbing it in this time and I'm warning you. So if you can't handle cookie eating, you might wanna change the channel right now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is literally the ultimate chocolate chip cookie. Do I have some on my face right there? Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Mmm. I can't even talk. I have melted chocolate all throughout my mouth. It's delicious. I will see you on the next Cooking with Jack.